Whoops, we had a little glitch there. Hopefully our internet will hold out. At the cabin, satellite internet, hopefully we're good to go. Um, had some problems last night trying to watch a movie. So um, yeah, so if you lose me, you lose me, I guess, right? So today, as promised, we're gonna be doing yoga in a really small space. So one of the um, complaints that I hear often from folks who are just starting to practice yoga or um, who think you have to like go to a class or have all this special equipment and such to practice yoga, this is really for you guys today. So first of all, you need absolutely zero special equipment. Mats are nice but absolutely not a requirement for practicing yoga. Today we're on my front porch of my cabin and um, my kitchen table is actually right here, kitchen table. Um, my old ratty couches are here, hey Mandy, um, hey Char. So everything is just like really tight in this spot. Char, you were just here so you know what kind of space I'm working in. So I have a chair as well. So I have a chair right there um, that I'll be using throughout this course as well. But these are things that you can do without a mat, with not a big space, wearing shoes, not wearing shoes, kind of whatever. So let's go ahead and um, get started. So I'm gonna start uh, at the front of the mat and just take a really nice big deep breath. So I just want you to, Imagine that you're planting down through the soles of your feet. So I'm wearing shoes today because immediately when I'm done today with this practice, I need to get in my car and I need to um, get to a tax appointment. So I'm even kind of semi-dressed. Yes, this is what I wear to tax appointments to go to a tax appointment. So I'm wearing a skirt, I'm wearing shoes. So again, there are no requirements. Don't let little things like a lack of space a lack of a mat, no blocks, no straps, no, don't let any of that deter you from a nice gentle yoga practice. So let's start here, just planting down into the soles of our feet. Let your arms hang from your shoulders, relax your shoulders. So just kind of shake out those shoulders just a little bit and just let them soften down your back. Let's take some nice deep breaths. So I want you to think about when you bring the breath in, that you're, you're sucking in that breath in through your nose and bringing it all the way down in to imagine you're bringing it down into the lowest part of your belly. So you can actually place your right hand there and your left hand at your heart or the other way around, whatever makes sense for you. And take that breath in with through your nose. And then let's let it go through our mouth. Let's do that a few more times. One more really nice big deep breath. All right, so let's just relax those arms again. Down to our sides, I'm gonna take a peek down. My feet are about hips width apart, it's kind of softening in to those knees a little bit. We never wanna lock up the legs. Let the arms hang to the sides, and then on an inhale, let those arms rise. Exhale, release them down. So as I'm doing this, I'm keeping that nice length through my spine, lifting, and then exhaling. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. We're keeping our belly button kind of hugged in, length up from the soles of your feet, planting firm. Let your left hand just kind of tuck in along your left leg and bring the right arm up. Now float the right arm over. So as you float the right arm over, I want you to think about lengthening through the side body. So what you're, I'm not doing is hunching forward. I'm keeping nice and long, just lifting up through that hand and then reaching over so that it's the side body that's feeling that length. Inhale, lift out through that arm again. Exhale, see if you can deepen that side bend. And 
going to release that right hand down. So whatever happens on one side needs to happen on the other. Let's inhale that left arm up, reach up through the left fingertips, float over again. It's the side body that we're working on lengthening. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. See if you can expand a little bit more of that stretch. Remember, I'm still standing up nice and tall. And exhale, release that hand. All right. So, standing up again, always checking in. So, checking in with your body. We have a tendency to do this slouchy thing. So I want you to really be aware. So let's do a shoulder stretch to bring that awareness in. So standing up again, nice and tall, we've got that little give in the knees. Lift those shoulders and drop them back. Let's do that again. Lift them, drop them back. You're probably gonna hear some crazy noises. Let's do that one more time. Lift and drop back. Now the heart is open, the shoulders are settled back. Softness in the knees, drop your nose forward. Now we're going to expand on these here in just a moment. Inhale to the right. Exhale forward. And inhale to the left. Do that with your own breath a few times. Just starting to really release through that upper back. I have been spending an exorbitant amount of time at a computer of late, working on some projects that I'm working on, meeting with students and clients. Once more. And inhale, lift. All right, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Now we're going to take our left hand and just kind of take it to the crown of the head and gently guide that head down. Now a reminder, you're welcome to be seated through most of this part, right? You can just hang out in the chair. You still want to be sitting up nice and tall. Let's release and let that head come back and then drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. So this side for me is the side that's a little bit of a challenge. So let's take our right hand to the crown of our head and just gently guide that head down. My right shoulder is generally angry with me. And let's release. All right, so let's make some fists or rolls, wrist rolls. I like to take them opposite directions. So I take them out at the same time and then take them in toward each other. To me, the way my brain works, it's just easier to have them essentially <clears throat> doing the same thing. Make some fists, let them go, stretch through the fingers this, stretch through the fingers, let's do that again, fists and stretch through the fingers. So I'm going to bring the chair up a little closer, and you don't need the chair, you could use your one of your couches if that's what happens to be handy for you, but we're going to start um, and do a little bit of, of leg and hip stuff to get started. So let's stretch out our right leg and just roll that right ankle. So I'm just kind of moving in through that right ankle. And then so I'll go clockwise and then counterclockwise. You can lift it up if that feels okay and kind of engage that quadricep a bit. And then point and flex. Let's do that again. Point and flex. One more time. Point and flex. Flex. All right, let's drop that right foot down. Stretch the left leg out. Do some clockwise and counterclockwise movements with that ankle. Again, you can keep your foot closer to the ground or you can lift that leg up and engage the quadricep. Point. Flex. A couple 
more time, just like we did on the other side. Point and flex. Point and flex and release. All right, so let's cross our right leg over our left. So it's just like we're crossing our, our legs at the ankle. Now, I'm going to move over just a little bit so that I have my couch available. So I'm going to cross my right over my left. And then if I want to come up higher, I'm going to bring my, um, the side of my right ankle or my right foot up onto my couch. You could have a pillow down on the ground. You can bring it right up and cross. So lots of different options here. I'm going to hold on to those right toes and just kind of gently press down on that right knee. And then release. So notice some of this is stuff that you can do if you're sitting in your office as well. So if you're sitting in your office at lunchtime and um, or whenever you just need a little bit of a break, you can then do some of these really simple stretches because you're in that little confined spot. Remember, you don't need the mat. Cross the left ankle over the right. And again, if you want to have something over the side kind of as an intermediate point, you can, or you can just bring that left ankle up to the right knee. And just gently press on that left knee. Breathe. And then let's release. All right, so I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna take the chair back to the back of my mat. Now remember, if you want to safely, I am not always good about this, but if you want to safely pick up that chair, you come to the side of it, you pick it up, you walk it to the back, and you sit it down so that there's no twist in your back. So make sure that you're being very cognizant and aware of that. So, cat-cow. We're going to start with a standing. We're going to go from a standing to using the couch, and we're going to go from using the couch to the floor. So. From a standing position, we lift and we just open. So we open and we send our gaze up. We exhale, we release those hands toward our thighs and just release forward. What that looks like from the side is this. Couple more. You can do this in the chair too. I think we've done that before. So now if we want to go to the couch, yeah, I'll go to this couch. So this, if you guys all remember the old 80s couches with the flowers all over them, that's what I got going on here on the porch. So these are just couches that have kind of come from either houses that Steve was working on or they've been shared with us at some point. So cat cow with the couch. I'm going to soften my knees and let my hands come down toward the couch. And then exhale as the spine rise and the head fall. Inhale as the belly fall and the head rise. Go with your breath. All right, coming back up to standing. So, cat cow on the floor. So, cat cow on the floor. We have done this many, many times. You're going to be seeing it from a little bit of a different angle today. Normally, you're going to see me going sideways. Today, you're going to see me going straight on. So as I come on down to the ground, I can always grab a pillow. It's the joy of being in your living room, right, or your porch or wherever. Bring those knees onto the pillow. Let the hands come down to the ground, under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Exhale, spine rise, the head fall. Inhale, let the belly fall and the head rise. Let's go with your breath. One more. facing dog. Downward facing dog, we'll get to the one on the floor, but 
you are always welcome to do downward dog with a chair. Chairs are great for doing downward facing dog, hands on the seat. Also, you can do it with the couch. A couch is kind of an intermediate spot. So it's a little bit lower, mine is anyway, a little bit lower than the chair, but not as low as the floor. So if you're doing a downward facing dog with your couch, you face the couch, you let your hands come to the seat, walk your feet back, and just settle back into your hips. You'll feel that nice stretch along the hamstrings, probably within the glutes as well, upper back. And then you just walk those feet forward and come on back up to stand bed. So again, you can do that at work, you can do that in your living room, wherever you happen to be. So let's do a regular old downward facing dog. I'm going to move this chair back a little further. So nothing is happening off of my mat, right? Nothing is happening where I need any more space than the width and length of my mat and the furniture that's to the sides of me. So let's lift those arms on an inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet back, we're to our downward dog. Press back into your heels, however far is comfortable. Feel that nice lengthening in your hamstrings. Remember, we want our arms to be nice and long. We don't want to have pressure on the wrists. Dropping back, settling back into those heels. Let's soften each knee. Let's really kind of start to work gently into those hamstrings. On an inhale, let's bring ourselves forward. This first time, drop your knees to the ground. Pull your shoulders back up over your wrists. Hug your elbows in and let your chin and chest come down toward the mat. Now, let's just lift our hands. So we're coming up into just a tiny little back bend, lifting the leg, the hands. And then release those hands back to the mat, turn your toes, press back through all fours, and then back to your downward dog. Soften both knees. Walk your feet forward. And let's reverse our swan dive. Inhale, let those arms come out and rise. And let your hands come to your sides. All right, so options. Downward dog with your couch. Downward dog with your chair. Downward dog on the floor. Watch us do downward dog, right? All kinds of potential options there. So that plank and lower, it can be difficult to start to kind of manage, I want to say, that, that plank and lower. It is a, it's a difficult um, upper body strength move. Now, you can use your couch to start working on that. You can also use the wall, and I don't know that we've done wall push-ups in a while, but wall push-ups, just pretend my wall is in front of my hands. I release forward toward my wall and I press back using my body weight, right? So you can do that as well. It's a really good place to start. If you have any wrist or shoulder issues, it might be a place you want to stay. Okay? Now, the couch. So I'm going to step my feet back and I'm going to bring my hands down onto my couch. So again here, I have a little give in my knees. Let me just start to release slowly down and press up. You can walk your hands back on the couch, bring in a little bit more work. Walk them back to the rim. You're still gonna get some really nice upper body work without all the pressure on your wrists and shoulders. Okay, so now we have push-up options, plank and lower options. You can do it on the ground, and we're going to do our next one on the ground with our knees off the mat. 
You can do them with your knees on the mat. You can do them against the wall just to start kind of working on building up that strength. You can use them with the couch or the chair kind of as your intermediate point. So my goal today, like I said, is to take away the excuses. There aren't excuses to not move every day. So yesterday I posted a link to a trainer. Her name is Keza. And Keza has some really cool free stuff. Keza does a lot with mobility and a lot with strength. So um, I encourage you to go out and take a look at her stuff. It's not about being able to do everything. It's about finding joy in the act of movement. Okay, so we're back to the front of our mat. We're going to do one full sun salutation from start to finish with a warrior one in it. So let's inhale our arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, step back, down dog. Inhale, plank, knees off the mat this time. You are doing what feels good for you. Hug those elbows in, release your chin and chest. Press up through wherever your cobra is today. Mine is right here and feels so good. Turn the toes back to downward dog. Soften the right knee, lift that right foot to the sky, bring it through the hands. Rise up and find your warrior one. Exhale, hand either side, step back. You can hang in your downward dog if that's happy, or you can come forward to plank, hug and release. Press through cobra. Again, wherever it feels good for you. Turn the toes, downward dog. Soften the left knee, lift that left foot to the sky. Bring it through the hands. Rise up, find your warrior one. Exhale, release. Step back, down dog. Last time for a plank today. Inhale forward, hug release, press through cobra. Turn your toes, down dog. Soften the knees. Hop, step, walk, jump, whatever. To a forward fold. And reverse your swan dive. Exhale, hands to your sides. Let your hands float to your sides. And then I'm going to bring mine to my hips. We're going to do a little balance. Balance is great in a tight space, right? Because you have stuff. You have a chair. You have your couch. You have all kinds of different potential spots for holding. So I'm going to settle into my left knee or left foot and soften my right knee. Kick stand out that right foot, right leg, and then let that right foot rise. Now you can stay right here. You can find something to hold on to for support. You can bring your hands to your heart. You can let your hands rise to the sky. Just really whatever makes you happy, right? And breathe. Trees sway with the wind, I sway with the wind. There's no wind, but we're going to call it that. And let's exhale and release. All right, let your weight shift a little bit from side to side. And then settle to the right. Kicks down the left. Hands to the hips. And let that left foot start to rise. Whoops. Lost my balance. I'm on really cushy shoes too. I have my running shoes on. And breathe. Again, hands where they're helpful. Helpful's my hips. Couple more breaths. Ah. And release. That weight shift from side to side. All right, so let's let our feet come about hips width apart. Well, I'm going to go a little wider than hips width. We're going to come down into a little bit of a squat. We are almost out of time. How does this possibly happen? So we're going to start to come down into a squat. And we're going to do 
kind of a coming down and up, down and up, down and up kind of thing here. And this is only especially helpful if you are doing this at work after you've been sitting in a chair for a long time, if you do it after a run. We start to come down and we come up. We start to come down and we come up. We start to come down. Oof. And we come up. This builds strength at the same time it's opening your hips. This next time, let's stay down. Wherever you are, this might be your squat, right? So coming down, let a heel rise and a heel rise. Let the elbows open the knees. Couple more. And wherever you are, we're going to come down to the ground or to your chair. So I'm going to come on down to the ground and let my legs stretch out in front of me. Sit up nice and tall, plant the back of those legs, inhale those arms to the sky and forward fold, reaching for your toes. You might be at the thighs, the knees, the shins, wherever you are is where you are. Couple more nice deep breaths here. And then on an inhale, come back to seated. Let's do one little boat just because we can. So let your knee or let your knees bend, soles of your feet come to the mat. Let those arms come out alongside. Now, again, nice. We have support, right? We have chair, we have couches, we have the floor, we have all kinds of Really amazing support here in our little tight space. Sitting up and then take, see if you can take those feet off the mat. I'm gonna take my hands off too. Breathe. Hug that belly button in toward the spine. Ah, exhale, release. All right, so find a comfortable seat. If you're in your chair, sit up nice and tall in your chair. If you are on the ground, in simple seated, find whatever simple seated feels good for you. If you would like to find your way to Shavasana on your back, feel free. I am going to not today, I'm going to pretend all I've got is this little space, right? So our hands settle to our knees, lift up through the crown of your head, soften those shoulders back, close your eyes. Just allow a couple of nice deep breaths. To help you settle in for the rest of your afternoon. Take a moment to thank yourself, to evaluate your entire body. Notice how that movement, just those small movements in a small space, limited time, and you can do any combination of movements. If you have five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you have, just take that time and allow your body to move. All right, let's let those hands come to our heart. Let your hands come to your heart now. You can just take your right hand over your heart and your left hand over it. If you feel like prayer at the heart is what feels good for you today, please do. As we bring this practice to a close, I want you to remind yourself, to take all of the things that are going on in this world with your own mind so your own thoughts your own opinions your own intuition listen to what your body is telling you to what your mind is telling you to what your heart is telling you may you be healthy may you be happy may you live in peace namaste thank you folks so much for joining me today on this monday I hope you enjoyed this small space practice. Reminder to check out that link for Keza. Um, she has a bunch of free stuff that you can take a look at. Uh, yeah, so I hope you all have a pleasant, calm, and peaceful remainder of your day. Hi, all.
see you soon. Bye.